Hey guys, what's going on? Another quick meta report today. I'm going to be talking about two meta builds for Magnazone. You can be running to crush everyone on the ladder and show you guys how strong it really is. This guy can fit on most teams, fitting Steel Dragon Fairy Cores and more. Because of its defensive typing, being a steel electric type, it can fit in most teams and run pretty well in them as well. And his, you know, move set as well is very, very good. This little guy, or this evil guy, let's be say, like, have you seen a Dynamax? It's, it's horrible, it's evil, it's maniacal, but it's very strong. Uh, people have been having to tech ground type moves, even on Reelaboom, to be able to sort this guy out as it can really run pe people over uh, without a check because it's only 4x weak to ground type moves, and because of how high its defensive stat is, it can pretty much live like uh, the 2s effective stuff such as fire type moves and fighting type moves. Um, all but one ability is usable on this guy, Magna Pool just sucked and doesn't provide as much utility as for example Shadow Tag, however Analytic and Sturdy are very very strong. There are two main item choices people are opting for, one being Grassy Seed and the other being Weakness Policy. Its moveset is relatively the same, running Thunderbolt, Flash Cutting, Body Press and Protect as it wants to Dynamax and Max Steel Spike three times and then when Dynamax is over it's able to body press every other enemy down as it becomes near impossible cool to kill as it's extremely bulky with 3x defense boost. Eevees is where it can go very different on the screen I'll show you guys two sets one more defenses oriented set for body pressing goodness and the other being for the weakness policy variant being a little bit more specially attack invested to be able to utilize both the body press and its max move more effectively. The Grassy C variant enhances the strategy as it boosts defense stages one more time whereas the Sturdy variant can do the same thing but has an extra benefit of potentially okoing a lot of threats on the way. Use, using either variant depends on your team composition as one requires Ruler Boom for Grassy Surge whereas the other you don't really require it but you might consider running a Pokemon to be able to self proc your weakness policy. However, because of Sturdy, you can just kind of get away with your opponent activating it whenever and it will still do the same thing. However, whichever way you decide to go with your Magazine build as Slash, they're all going to be good as because of its just amazing defensive stats, only weak to 4x ground type weakness and if your opponent doesn't have a ground type coverage or, or you knock it out prior to Magazine coming in, Magazine is going to be laughing his way to victory. Let's go see it in action. Oh, also, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down as it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm if you've been enjoying these meta reports, and thank you for the support as always. Anyway, back to that. Anyway, gotta lurk for a bit. Okay, sure thing, man. Thank you for joining, man. Yo, this is Comfy Lapras Gudra Core. I like this. I like this team. I think the core is actually Rillaboom as well. Like, Rillaboom is always on it. For the extra floral healing shenanigans. What do I do against this on the first team? I forgot. <laughs> um, did I go Magma Zone? I think I went Magma Zone Amoongus. Or Magma Zone Incineroar. I think I'll go Magma Zone Incineroar. Um, Amoongus Togekiss. Oh no, I went Togekiss Dragapult uh, last time round. But that's because he didn't have Lapras. So this time he does have Lapras. So um, I'm going to bring... Amoongus Urshifu, I think, or Togekiss for Rillaboom. Yeah, let's go with that. G Max Urshi goes through Max, and regular Urshi goes through Protect. Yeah. Is that for every single move, though? I think, is that Unseen Fist that does that? So every move goes through Protect. Only moves that make contact. Okay, makes sense. Okay, what do you do? He goes... Comfy mode. Let's 
So typically the Gudra is physical, not with the weakness policy. So let's just go, let's just go hard on it, see what happens. Fake out doesn't really do anything. So we, we sh should U-turn into probably comfy just to get rid of the sash. Okay, he does Dynamax straight away. So close combat goes through also. Does it Aqua Jet? The Aqua Jet might attack, right? What I'm expecting, hopefully, if this is weakness policy, Gudra variant, I, I'm be scared of uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be scared of fire move. But if it's a sap super variant, I should be fine. <laughs> Okay, fine. It's physical. Perfect. Max Knuckle. Fine. Onto Incineroar too, perfect. Wait, not not perfect. Yeah, so people have people oh that did no damage. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to target around the Gudra then. Typically people run the Lapras, Gudra, Comfy Core. They have weakness policy on Lapras and Sapsip of Physical Gudra because it's really really strong. Uh, Gudra covers for the Lapras's weakness. And it's also really good against with Reelaboom because you can glassy gl self grassy glide into the Sap Sipper, and that's very strong too. Besides, you can't spore it now, right? Yeah, you can't spore it with Sap Sipper as well. So that's that's another that's another good thing about it. I'm gonna target around the Gudra because Gudra are too strong. <laughs> However, I need to keep. I need. I need. I'm gonna recycle my Incineroar because I need to keep on intimidating it, or it will get too strong. Maybe I should have targeted into it because I think he was gonna target the Magma Zone this turn. So he's gonna proc the plus two. But looking at that damage, it looks like it wasn't gonna kill anyway. Oh, it didn't have Sash though, it's not on Sash. It's on Berry. Should still die though. I, won't, I wonder if it's AV uh, Gudra. Right here. Okay. Two o eight. I kind of had just have to hope that Matt it doesn't kill in Sun, and I have to go for this fake out in case he doesn't go for it because if he doubles up onto Magnazone, it'll be really bad. Okay. So it looks like he actually was going for the double up onto the Magnazone. Ooh. Oh my god, that's a mistake and a half right there. 
Why did he not Max Flare, boys? I think Max Flare had a chance of two hit KOing. Okay, this guy is so tanky, man. Like, actually pretty tanky. I think it's on the AV. Let's uh, U-turn out here. Let's protect the U-turn out. Wait, actually maybe I should have just Flare Blitz into Gudra here. Focus loss. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's on AV and he has like zero defense investment there. So what we should do is probably body press into it and dazzling gleam here. I should be faster with uh, with Tokus here. Man, th this team makes you have to work for the wins, man. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, Andy, also notice you don't have any PCs today. Yeah, that's so weird, right? Like, um, yeah, it, it happens like it happens for like an hour, and then like it's back to normal. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't think it's the modem. I think it's like my connection to the in-game server. Okay, here, here, this is where we body press and we go for <laughs> the ancient power tech. Now we just go for Dazzling Gleam. Do you share Wi Fi with your neighbors or roommates? Uh, no, not at all, man. I don't share my Wi Fi. My Wi Fi is only mine. <laughs> Battle is cancelled. Yes. Played that well. Uh, what he could have done better was Max Flare twice. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't max flare twice though, and decided to go for max knuckles instead. That was interesting. Yeah, it's.